These days, almost everyone makes their way around Marquette by either hopping in their car or jumping on their bike and pedaling to their destination. But for almost 40 years, beginning in the 1890s, you could have made your way throughout the city by taking the streetcar. In 1888, a group of civic leaders led by Timothy Nestor started investigating the possibility of putting together a streetcar system for Marquette. At that time, you got around the city one of two ways, by foot or by horse-drawn carriage, and it was thought that a streetcar system would open up more of the city for development. City officials agreed, and beginning in the fall of 1890, the first rails were laid on city streets for the Marquette City and Presque Isle Railway. The railway, which residents just called the streetcar, was designed to provide transportation all throughout Marquette, not just in the core downtown area. Spurs were laid out to bring residents as far north as Presque Isle and as far south as the Superior Hotel. The company was given permission to use either horse or electric power for the streetcars. They chose the latter and installed a 500-volt DC steam engine at newly constructed car barns on the city's north side to power the entire system. The streetcar system began operation on June 1, 1891, using cars that could hold 30 people at a time and charging 5 cents for rides throughout the city and 10 cents for the journey out to Presque Isle. And the route to the island proved to be by far the most popular for city residents who previously didn't have the best access to the park. Presque Isle became so crowded, in fact, that the city had to hire its first caretaker to make sure that things didn't get too out of control. The streetcars were also a boon to sawmills in North Marquette, as well as the new Pioneer Furnace, which eventually became Cliff Dow. No longer did employees have to live within walking distance of the plants. Instead, they could live anywhere they wanted to and just hop on the streetcar to head to work. For that very same reason, a wide swath of West and North Marquette was opened up for residential development, as you could just hop on the streetcar and get wherever you needed to go in just a matter of minutes. As the first few decades of the 20th century wore on, Marquette streets were eventually paved and more city residents bought their own cars, which contributed to a marked decrease in the number of people who used the streetcar system. Thanks to costs that were incurred by track and car maintenance, the system was never a big moneymaker, and the decrease in riders eventually led to the streetcars being shut down for good on April 19th, 1935. But for over 44 years, the Marquette City and Presque Isle Railway, the streetcars, opened up Marquette in a way that it hadn't been before, allowing residents to make their way to and fro in a rapidly growing city.